girl, hey. So, sorry, I'm having really bad allergies, so my eyes are kind of like puffy and watering, but you know. This video is not going to be your conventional beauty video. Um, in essence, it is like all about beauty, but not the beauty you're thinking of that all my videos are about. It's about beauty of the inside, and I know this is going to sound so cheesy, and um, I'm not one to be a cheesy person, but I feel like this is really important, and it's something that when you're getting caught up in all these, like, outer beauty videos and everything like that, it seems like a really superficial community, the YouTube beauty community, but I feel like it doesn't have to be that way, and there, I should show you guys that there's more to me and there's more to you and I know there is and this video is going to be probably my most um, scrambled and really confused video I guess because um, I don't really know well, it's not that I don't know what I'm talking about I just probably will contradict myself and it'll be all over the place confidence is the most important thing to have about yourself and the important quality I guess but it's also one of the most lacked qualities in girls teenage girls because there's so much around all of us that can bring down our confidence and make us think we're not good enough. To be confident, you have to love yourself. You have to be thankful to be who you are. You have to look in the mirror and love that you are the person looking back at you. And honestly, I can sit here today and look you in the camera and say, I am confident with who I am. And I'm glad that I can say that. But I wasn't always that way. Um, I had a lot of struggles in the past. I really struggled when I was younger with like confidence and I, I never thought any little part of me was good enough. My two big things were I had asthma and eczema. And asthma took a toll on me because I would always get made fun of because in PE everyone was always way ahead of me and I was way behind struggling for air. And, I know this is kind of different from confidence, but it kind of wore on my confidence because I wasn't up to par with everyone else and I thought that made me, as a person, bad, I guess. This is kind of weird for me to talk about because I've never really like opened up about it. But the worst thing was eczema. And eczema is a skin condition um, and it's pretty much under control now too, but there's some problem areas like on my finger. A skin condition where you kind of have not scabs but like red itchy I don't even know I don't want to go into detail but when it was bad it was bad and I didn't want to I didn't want anyone to see me and it was horrible because I get made fun of for it and people would stare at me and I know people think acne is bad and I'm not saying that oh you're so lucky if you have acne um, but <clears throat> let's just say because I would get it on my face and my neck and everywhere where you could see and my skin was so bad. People don't look at people with acne weird because acne is so common and people can sympathize with it but when you have a skin condition like eczema you get stares and it's not a good feeling. One time this girl um, I had some eczema on my neck and it was kind of it wasn't like straight eczema it was like building up so it looked like stretched out red marks and stuff and I had this girl come up to me and she's like you know, you kind of look like you've been strangled. Um, okay, sorry, this is an allergy. So, um, yeah, this is kind of hard for me to talk about. but And I, I was so not comfortable with myself. Okay, I need to stop talking about me because this is not what the video is about. All of those things and things people said to me and <sighs> horrible things like that. I don't think I would be the person that I am today and would be so confident in my own skin, so to speak, um, if I, I hadn't gone through that. So when you think something's wrong with you, I mean, you can't let what people say really affect you as a person because what people think of you and what they say to you, it doesn't define you. What defines you is who you see yourself as and what when you look in the mirror what you see. I think it's important that no matter what you see, whether it's eczema or acne or you think you're fat or you think you wish your hair wasn't frizzy or something like that, no matter what you see, you have to learn to love yourself for it and be appreciative that it's you. You're unique and you're not like everyone else and I just don't understand why they would say that but I mean that's not the point they could have whatever their reasons but honestly if someone
someone calls you ugly, they're even uglier because on the inside because they can't see what's like the beauty in you. I've gotten like comment not comments but like I don't even know like tweets or whatever um that are like oh my gosh you're so pretty I wish you looked I looked like you and I don't know if they're like saying that like actually or maybe they're just like sucking up or whatever but it's not only about me but definitely don't I don't want you guys to want to look like me like no um but or just like a celebrity oh I wish I looked like Megan Fox I looked like Angelina Jolie or anything like that and it's just like no you have to you should not want to look like someone else because that would be wasting the person that you are if you want to be exactly like someone else and you act like them and you try to look like them then what happens to who you were they just waste away and that's like wasting a perfectly good person so you have to be comfortable in your own skin and not wish to be someone else it's not about what you are in comparison to people and it's not something that you have to measure up to it's about you as a person and how you see yourself and it's not how you see yourself next to someone it's how you see yourself alone and what you think how you value yourself and I think a good place to start is to surround yourself with people that build you up instead of tear you down don't be friends with people that are constantly ragging on you and telling you you're not good enough and not even in like obvious ways but like subtle ways your friends really help shape you as a person and if they're really just bringing you down all the time even if they're like joking but it's wearing on you, then you shouldn't be around them. You should be surrounding yourself with people that actually care about you and really build you up in your self-esteem. Another thing to touch on is the pressure to be perfect, and that's kind of a campaign running with Demi Lovato and Seventeen and the Jed Foundation. Um, and that's in Seventeen Magazine if you want to look at it. Demi Lovato goes into her story about how, how the pressure to be perfect by today's society really just wore on her until she broke. Little Miss Caitlin, she's another guru on YouTube. She just did a whole video on it, and it's a beautiful video. And you guys, I'll link it down below, and you guys should really watch it. But it is something that's really prominent in today's society, that there's so many things surrounding us that make you think, like, oh, this is perfect. Like, what is perfection anyway? Who said perfect was a size zero? Who said perfect was long, straight, blonde hair? Who said that perfect was clear skin? The definition of perfect isn't defined by the media or by your friends. The definition of perfect is defined by you. I'm not perfect by today's standards of society, whatever they are, but I'm perfect by my standards because I'm happy with myself. And so many girls compare themselves and they think, oh, I'd only be smart if, they think I'd only be pretty if, dot, dot, dot. I'd only be happy if, dot, dot, dot. And you don't have to think that. I think something that's really important about that is focusing on who you are, not what you're not. You know, this kind of goes back to the glass is always half full. What things are you? I'm creative. I'm different. I'm happy. Things, think of things that make you, you and make you different and make you good as a person, not things that you're lacking. YouTube kind of goes along with this because there's so many people out there judging people that watch, make videos and it's really, really sad um, because like I know there's people watching this right now that are wasting their lives because they don't like watching me and they're just looking for things to pick on me about. Honestly, when someone comments, you're fat, it doesn't make me want to go starve myself and run a few miles. When someone comments, wow, your skin is ugly, it doesn't make me want to go put on more foundation. It just, people, what they say, it doesn't affect me as a person. It just, I still go by the standards of how I see myself and I see myself is perfect in my own way. Just let pride be your foundation and let optimism be your eyeshadow. Let forgivingness be your mascara and let a smile just be your setting spray. Um, that's all you need to be confident is the inner qualities. When you're confident, that's when you look in the mirror and forget what everyone has ever told you that's wrong with you and you look at yourself and see the beauty that's there.